here's your heads up to this mad world little, <coughs> excuse me, seven minutes or so of getting you to think in a different way about, well, how we conduct ourselves and how we want to conduct ourselves. How, well, basically our roles, the roles that we play, because you can choose them because that's what you do right now. Have a listen. I think you'll find it hopefully quite interesting. Very thoughtful. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal development unplugged. Hey, how are you doing? How are you doing today? It's Paul here, Personal Development Unplugged. And I've been thinking. You're going to get a lot of time to think, don't you? Well, actually, I've been really busy too. And that's why I'm doing this in a roundabout way. But it was this morning. This morning, I sat down with my journal. Because somehow, there are some things that just haven't changed in this weird old mad world. And some things for me have changed dramatically. And one of the things I've noticed is I haven't been writing my journal. And there's been like three or four or five days in between. So I got this morning by, well, sitting in a, in a different place in the sun, writing my journal. And I started to think about some of the weird things that have been happening that I've been seeing on um, people reporting of what's happening when they go shopping. And then seeing people on Facebook saying all these weird and wonderful things well they're actually not that wonderful they're saying things that i don't think you'd ever say you certainly wouldn't say it to someone's face and people are getting hyper on all the stuff that's going on and it got me thinking got me thinking isn't it strange we all play roles we we have roles in our normal life you have the role of maybe a partner a father a son a daughter a brother a sister when you go to work, you have different roles. When you go out to play, you have a different role. Each different part of our character is like a role, I guess. But in this weird and wonderful, I keep saying weird and wonderful because it is weird and wonderful. You have to look at it as being wonderful um, because new opportunities will occur from this. But the thing is, we choose these roles. What are you talking about, Cluffy? Choose them. But we do, unconsciously, we choose these roles to play. And some of the roles I'm seeing some people play are really not nice. They're very angry. They're very vexed. They're doing things that maybe in the normal run of things they wouldn't do, but they've chosen this role to play. And I'm thinking now in my diary, what roles will I choose to play during this time? But also it's got me to think about coming out of this time, because we will. We'll come out of this sooner rather than later. And we will come out of it stronger and better if we choose to. So I wanted to think in my diary, my journal, I wonder what roles I will play in this confinement time, isolating time, but also what roles will I cultivate in this time? So when we're taking advantage of being back to normal, whatever normal is, we can have even better roles to produce even better things. And my initial thoughts were, for me, were, well, I'm not quite sure where it it came from but it's more about I just want to set a foundation I'd like to uh, set a foundation of just compassion and mindfulness and it has to start with me I have to get my own foundation of compassion for myself mindful of myself so I can be then compassionate and mindful of others which as I say sometimes I'm not that compassionate and not that mindful which is really hurtful to me when I look back and see it but I'm honest and we have to be honest with ourselves. So I'm going to be looking at roles I can begin to enjoy. Choose to enjoy the roles. Develop the roles. Learn even more deeply. And hopefully come out of it a better person. And I just wanted to say to you, if you're interested, what roles have you been playing in the past? Which ones were you proud of? Which ones were not so proud of? I've got a few of those, tell you that. 
And they're the things I want to learn from. Because you have to learn from them first, don't you? You can't just let things go without learning because you might just do them again. And I don't want that for me. And I don't want it for you. So what if we were just to sit down with your journal and write down or just think, what roles have you been playing up to now? Which ones did you enjoy? Which ones were you not so proud of? How can we learn from the ones not, we're not so proud of and how can we learn from the ones we really did enjoy so we can make them even better? And what roles are you playing now? Because they will change. What roles are you playing now? And if you could, because you can, choose the roles you want to play and how you want to play them, what would they be? Mm. And I've got a feeling in just comes to me now, just came to me, that all that seems like a damn good foundation for a hypnosis track about exploring the roles that we can cultivate for the future and the now. So we access all the wonderful resources that we have, the wonderful positive beliefs, the wonderful core values that really promote us and let, let us sing from our real voice, to be aligned with our passions. Hmm. I think I'm going to do that. So be aware, there'll be an email going out saying, oh, I've just done a new new hypnosis track. But you're going to have to get on that email trail, as it were. So how do you do that? How do you get part of that, that list to get all those hypnosis tracks? Well, go to paulcloughonline.com forward slash podcast. And that just came out of the blue, and I think I'm going to do that, because I think that would be a great thing to do just for 20 minutes to get your unconscious mind to continue working on those positive traits that we have while we're in this limbo-like, well, for me anyway, it seems a little bit like limbo. Hope this all made wonderful sense to you. It made sense to me when I wrote it down in my journal. It makes sense in my mind, but I always wonder sometimes, did it come out of my mouth the way I wanted it to? That's something I've got to practice as well practice being able to communicate the best I can to give you and give me all the encouragement to get our dreams and get more bigger than we thought and create a reality that we want to really be part of because we can so until next time my friend I'll be around you'll be around and let's think about those roles okay see you real soon bye bye now Before you go, my friend, I'd like to ask you a question. Did you learn something from this, this episode? I hope you did, because even though every episode may not be the one that really floats your boat, sets you, you know, alight, hopefully there's a takeaway in each and every episode for you. And I'd love to know what it was. So please do email me at feedback at personaldevelopment.com unplugged.com it's a personal email to me i'd love to know so we can carry on doing this work that will allow you to exceed your dreams and what's the payment for this payment cluffy what are you talking about payment i thought it was free well it's like pay it forward and if you could pay this forward in two ways or maybe three first way is please share it share this podcast with as many people as you could and you can it's very easy just press that share button send it off by email to them you'd love to this is something you might like mighty mighty i'll get that right paul something you might enjoy and hey if you could a real big pay it forward to me is wherever you're getting this podcast is it itunes castbox or stitcher or whichever you're getting it from google play i don't know would you please just leave a review? Because the review really helps people find this, this podcast. There's thousands out there, and we want to, or I want to direct people to this podcast. And the way to do it is by reviews. So if you could do that, if you could share, you could do that. And also just make sure that you're subscribed so you get this episode and every other episode on a Wednesday and a Saturday. If you do all of that, my little heart will sing. And if you want me to sing, well, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Enjoy. But please do, do all of that. 
Make my heart sing. Bye-bye now. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.